If there's anything worth it to get from Pat McGrath, petite, concise, compressed to the point, this mascara, get it. And Reese was an OG, but this is concealer. Wow! Well, hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I will be sharing with you my November beauty favorites. you have watched it yet or not but i did a 100 holiday gift ideas with my daughter mia and we actually recommended this little glass i mean little things that make a difference hmm. talking about little things that make a difference right now i'm not wearing any lipstick I'm just completely blown away. Friends, why you haven't told me anything? I mean, I have heard it from so many people, but never pulled the trigger. And I'm just so impressed about this La Mer lip treatment. Oh my goodness. This is everything that I wanted on a lip treatment and more. I never seen my lips not only plump without pain, but seen the natural shade of my lips been so even and so perfect and so pretty. I'm now in love with my lips. I mean, I always love myself. I love my lips, absolutely, yes. <laughs> but there is something very special about this lip treatment to me that I'm sure is gonna become a holy grail. But before the Lemaire lip treatment, I was using the U Beauty, the Plasma Lip Compound. This is a great lip balm on the go. And I really love the cooling tip too. This one in particular is the shade Sunset. So it adds just a little bit of color to the lips. Also, it's not goopy. It's a really good lip balm and lip treatment in general. Now, you know my obsession with the candy glaze, by YSL, these lipsticks, oh wow, if they give you so much shine and volume to your lips, with there's no plumping sensation or nothing like that, but they are just so juicy, completely, completely juicy. They are so beautiful. And I love all the shades that I have tried. They are all so complimenting, beautiful. They have enough pigment that they just look wonderful. Like I said, they leave your lips looking so juicy. And another thing that I love about this Candy Glaze by YSL is that they hug your lips. They stay on. They are not those that they kind of like melt and feel like they are gonna go around your lips, they are not. And my newest obsession from the YSL Candy Glaze is this one right here, which is the clear one, and a specific the holiday limited edition packaging. But they do have the same shade on the permanent line, and what I like about it is that it looks like a lip gloss, very shiny, very glass-like. On this video, you're gonna be able to tell how much I have been enjoying everything that has to do with lipsticks. But this baby right here also, I had been putting it in inside my purse all the time is from Westman Atelier is her new squeaky clean lip balm in the shade Nectar. This has come out as part of a limited edition holiday set but this particular liquid lip balm give you those milky lips but it's thinner in consistency than most lip balms. Oh my gosh this Louis Vuitton satin lipstick oh, it's gorgeous. The pigment, the shine, the thin consistency, so beautiful. So much so that I really want to get another shade. For the days that I put a little bit more of a warmer kind of makeup look, I'm still going with this Hermes lipstick in the shade Beige Doton. It's gorgeous. It's a different kind of brown because it does have a little bit of a pink hue that makes it even more special and really complements my skin tone. My friends, I tried the Makeup by Mario lip liner. I'm so, so impressed. It does last throughout the day and this shade in particular, smoky pink, it really enhances with my lip shade. You see, it doesn't look like I have lined my lips specifically. It just enhances them. And this is the lipstick that I'm gonna go for from Charlotte Tilbury, Rocket Girl. This is actually her newest collaboration with Elton John. And I love this shade. It's a perfect nudie pink. Do you see, it's not super warm. It actually, works really well with the eyeshadow that I'm using today. It's such a beautiful shade of lipstick. It's a perfect nudie pink that is completely neutral. I'm gonna add just a little bit of this baby on top to just give extra shine. 
Ahí you can see. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Mm. Look at that. Just perfect. And my lips are already plump from the La Mer lip treatment too. So they look extra juicy, extra fuller. And I have no Botox. They are just my midi lips. <laughs> well, let's go into fragrances. Alter by Parfums de Marly really has conquered my heart. It is such a warm, beautiful, cozy fragrance. Ideal for the season. So good and so unisex. Honestly, if they would have just bottled it, but in this color would have been also perfection. But oh my gosh, I'm so in love with the warmth and coziness of these fragrance from Parfums de Marly. And I honestly do not want to repeat myself, but I have been loving the Dolce Gabbana Devotion. <laughs> fragrance it's so good it's so so good friends if you want to do yourself a favor devotion by dolce gabbana it is the designer fragrance of the season honestly it's just so 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 amazing and now this is another beauty you see i have fixed and rearranged my background with my christmas tree and all of that but i have been going back to my angelique noir by garlin this is queen absolutely queen of it's gonna be the fragrance of the thing this is so good mm, so so good queen of vanilla this is the vanilla that in my humble opinion spiritus vanille also by Guerlain should have been because this is different this is bringing you a vanilla with some florals but it's not too florally um it's kind of like not even syrupy but it's just so different and I always get compliments from it. And the bottle is just stunning. It's actually a classic and I always wear this baby during fall and winter time. Let's go a little bit into fashion. And I'm sorry, my friends. Sorry, but not sorry. I mean, I have to tell you the truth. I have been loving this little bag so much. I'm so happy I got it now in my collection. This is the Chanel mini top handle. This is kind of like my everyday bag. I didn't thought I was gonna love it that, that much, but I truly do. It simplifies my life. It, I can carry all the things that I need. If it's my phone, if it's my wallet, that by the way is this baby right here too. Another love, it keeps my cards organized. I'm able to put inside some money too. And then this bag, like I said, is perfect. It's a smaller and you know what? Although it's a smaller, it fits more than my Chanel small classic flap because it doesn't have the double flap inside. Oh, I have some of my business cards here. <laughs> I should put them on my wallet. Now, it is very roomy. I think I'm gonna get an insert, something that is just not too bulky because I really love how compact it is and how it fits all my necessities. And whenever I'm just like going quickly shopping, I just take this baby and that's all what I need. Going back to makeup, you know how much I have been loving this Louboutin Balm Foundation. Don't be afraid, it's not balmy. It is moisturizing, but it's not heavy. And actually you can build up on pigmentation. I think this is one of the best foundations that I have tried during the year alongside to this new Chiseido Revitalessance Skin Glow. Wow, what a beautiful foundation. It's the foundation that I'm wearing today. It's super, extremely lightweight. When I applied it first, I thought it was gonna be too, because it, I chose the shade 310. I think it was supposed to be like pretty neutral and I was afraid that it was leaning a little bit grayish. Not at all. This is perhaps one of my best foundation matches that I have in my collection. I'm so impressed. It's thinning consistency, extremely lightweight. It does have SPF 30. Now I do not rely on any makeup as far as SPF. I always use SPF before prior and then reapply the one that i love to reapply when i have a full face of makeup is also by shiseido it's clear it doesn't remove your makeup etc but this foundation is just so beautiful and i do have very sensitive skin and it hasn't break me out it looks fantastic throughout the day it's although it says skin glow is not too glowy it actually looks very like your skin looks just hydrated that is key because this foundation will work just perfectly fine for someone with very dry skin and even combination skin fantastic discovery talking about fantastic discovery rms and their spf 
oh wow now this will give you a lot more glow than the shiseido foundation this is more on the dewy side but what a beautiful mineral spf doesn't have zero nothing nada of white cast it looks incredible i like to use it all along these two right here actually i mix them in because of my skin tone and it gives me a very light to sheer coverage but my skin looks dewy yes i apply a little bit of powder in a specific this hourglass one is really good in combination with this spf if you want to just wear it all along now i have tried the deepest one as a bronzer and it's actually the pre-bronzer i say pre-bronzer because it's underneath that i have today and to me this is key because i do have sunspots right here on these areas of my face because obviously it's where the sun hits the most when you're driving to or you're if you're a passenger so these areas is where you tend to get the most sunspots. So this is a good way to add even more SPF and protect those areas using the deepest shade as bronzer. Now for powdered bronzer, what a gorgeous formulation from Sura Beauty. Oh my gosh, this powder is not even powder. It's just silky, soft, phenomenal bronzer. It applies beautifully and I actually love to apply it with this brush by Chanel. I'm in love. Obsessed with this 110 brush from Chanel. It has the perfect size for a bronzer without being too big and it spreads the product evenly. But anyhow friends, this bronzer, you have to try it. Super silky, smooth, full of emollients. Your bronzer game is gonna be like up high because of how airbrush is going to look and since i was talking about this pressure here let me tell you that these friends are still a go for me i love them so much anytime that i have to go out for a trip i just stay there the medium color story or the light color story that i customize it on the owl compact this give me more of an ethereal look but what i wanted to say is that this chanel brush and also I'll show you these other Chanel brush are perfect for these palettes because the size just fits perfectly on the pan without migrating onto the other shades. And since I was talking about SPF, if you don't want anything that has color and you want something that is more natural, not matte, Charlotte Tilbury, and this is her Invisible UV Flawless Primer. It actually even so any texture that you have is not silicone -y. it absorbs really well on the skin it has spf 50 and it works beautifully with makeup but my makeup prep nowadays doesn't fail with the new magic water cream by charlotte tilbury this is a must if you want your makeup to look phenomenal and you want your skin to look hydrated throughout the day with or without makeup you must try this baby promise you you're gonna be in love but friends let's talk now about jewelry and i have to tell you that this is my new set of jewelry this video by the way is not sponsored but i'm just in love obsessed with this stack right here this is the gabriel earring by ideal in the middle i have my chanel les trois camellia and then my ideal lucia earrings i'm in love how it looks it's denty, it's pretty, and it is unique. I just love it. I just love it. My beautiful stack of necklaces. I love it so much. This Ava pendant, it just shines so much. Same thing with this Lina, and I feel like stacked together, they just look perfection. I'm so, so thirsty right now, but... As you can tell, I went blonder and a lot blonder, but my natural hair tends to become brassy with time. And when I decided to go a little bit blonder, I knew I needed it to up my game. And I'm so impressed with this Olaplex Purple Shampoo and Conditioner because not only is non-drying, which was the most important thing for me, I like my hair to feel silky, to not lose its shine, to not look dull, but wow, if I'm so impressed with this system because it really lifts up that blonde tone, but without drying your hair. Now, do I use it every time that I wash my hair? No, I use it at the most once a week and that's it. But what a difference it makes because they really act like toners and as a gloss for your hair. Fall and winter is when I struggle the most with very dry skin and mostly on my hands. So I have been trying so many different products. And let me tell you, these True Botanicals, everything rescue balm it really is a rescue it smells 
so good, kind of like herbally, spa-like, it's not super thick, it's not Vaseline-like, which I know Vaseline will do the trick, it will help to create that barrier so you don't lose the moisture and hydration on your skin. It actually expedites the healing, and then as a hand cream, I have been using all my little sample packages <laughs> from Dior, and in fact, Dior, they just had during the Black Friday sale and even Cyber Monday, give with purchases that they were fantastic, a jewelry box a travel case i mean everything was amazing so i went ahead and had to order this cream because you can use it all over the face on your hands i'm gonna use it more on my hands it's very hydrating and then at night i'm using the one by necessaire because it's a little bit thicker in consistency more of a moisturizing cream but for your hands so literally with all of these i think or so i hope i'm covered for fall and winter and for my hands to do not be chapped talking about hands and obviously nails I do my manicure at home and this baby by Hermes is Ro Coquille has been a true love of mine. I applied three coats and it looks literally like gel, but I just got a new shade from Light Slacker. You know my friends how much I love Light Slacker nail polish in Burly Frio. It's kind of like a Spanglish and it's the nail polish that I have today on. Look at this. It is Beautiful, it's a nudie tone with a little bit of sparks and I love to use their system like the So Clingy which it is your base coat and then on top I go with Totally Jelly if you want a gel look manicure. Talking about a gel look manicure, I have been also obsessed with the Manicuris. It's a French brand and they do clean gel polish, completely vegan and without any ingredients that are carcinogenic, those that they really messed up our hormones and my favorite polish from them so far is Hortensia and their glaze powder. These two together are incredible and you have to see the way that you remove them. Forget about drilling your nails. You just simply use your green flush with a little cotton pad and you will see the nail polish, the gel nail polish, no drilling, nothing lifting up like a piece of paper, like that. That's it. It just blows my mind every time I see it. And it's so quick and easy. So whenever I don't have time, you know, for my nail polish to dry, which, you know, in fact, Hermes, Lies Lacquer, they dry pretty fast. But whenever I truly just do not have time and I know I need to go to a meeting or whatever, I use the Manicurist and wow. There has been a few eyeshadows that I have tried on the month of November that have really like conquered my heart. Pretty Grunge by Huda Beauty. She always does that every end of the year. She comes out with these 18 pound palettes that are just spectacular. And this is one of them, perhaps one of my favorite ones. I'm using it today. They are just beautiful. The way that the mattes apply seamlessly, airbrush. You can do just a whole matte eyeshadow look with this period. This black shade right here is phenomenal to use it as an eyeliner, just incredible. This metallic shade, they will give you that wet eyeshadow look. You have to use your fingers though to use them. Not because it's solid fallout, which it obviously could happen, but it is the way that they recommend it and the way that I find that to apply the best with all the impact that you need. This palette to me is a must have. Let's talk about VCR and their new eyeshadow palettes. My goodness, they are masters on what they do. I actually have used this baby off camera and oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. The shades, the beautiful eggplant tones is truly a fall palette. And then the cashmere is such an elegant palette too. You know what? It actually reminds me a lot to the Huda Beauty palette. It gives not the same look because what happened with the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette is that it has those mesmerizing metallic shades. But if you want that elegance, a little bit more condensed, a little bit more subdued, then I will suggest to go with this one. Although obviously that one from Huda will give you more. But if you want something different to the common purple palettes, if you want something that gives you more depth and is very still romantic, Romantic, then the Violet Vespertin, beautiful too. If there's anything worth it to get from Pat McGrath, are her little mini palettes. These are a lot better than the big holiday palettes. I think they will make an excellent gift for anybody, any age, doesn't matter, or even a stocking stuffer in a specific bronze ecstasy. These metallic shades are so emollient. They look so wet and so 
beautiful beautiful i mean this right here if you don't want to go with a mothership palette i will direct you to go to this route right here and this one in specific bronze ecstasy is perfect for the everyday it's a little bit more intense on this brown and this aubergine tone but if you want to go a little bit even lighter you can just use your bronzer and then deepen out with this shade but these three metallic shades are stunning and the way that they glide and they stay and they don't fall out this is where it's at with the new holiday collection from Pat McGrath. This is perhaps one of the best holiday collections, period. <laughs> Honestly, petite, concise, compressed to the point, but it does the job. The Radiant Glow Blur Powder is the one that I have under my eyes. It does have a little bit of a pink hue and it does have, it's not glowy, it's not a luminizer, it's not a highlighter, but it just brings forward a little bit your futures in a very gorgeous way. The actual formulation, it is like silk. I hope and I wish they will bring this powder, not limited edition, but it will become permanent because the formula here, it is so impressive. Their highlighter is truly really magical. It is gold, but it's a light champagne gold that looks just, oh, it like melts in the skin beautifully. It's not chunky. It doesn't emphasize texture. And yes, I'm saying that because this is something that is really important to understand nowadays. It has come so far in terms of like formulations for makeup that honestly, the glow that it gives you, it actually looks natural and it doesn't look fake and then this gorgeous eyeshadow it's kind of like duochrome with peach pink gold everything and i think this shade is one of those shades that works all throughout the year should we talk about hermes this mascara get it get it you will not regret it let me tell you this gives me volume separation length immediately it doesn't transfer it doesn't flake it lifts up my lashes and keep them lift. And the best part of everything is that you can remove it with just warm water. And no, it's not a tubing mascara. As simple as that. It is phenomenal. Phenomenal. It comes in so many different shades too. You have to get it. I'm sorry. I know, I know. I, don't, I shouldn't tell you what to get. But if you have been eyeing it, just, just go for it. <laughs> Talking about Hermes. Oh my gosh, these babies right here. And honestly, I just have been rotating them. They are just so easy. The formulation is beautiful. I love the matte shades because they are non-powdery. They diffuse with easy. They build up in such a gorgeous way without being matty. And therefore, because you can build up on the pigmentation, it's going to work for so many skin tones. I do have friends that they have deeper complexions than mine, that they have got them and they are just completely obsessed. Their metallic shades on these palettes are one of the very best in the luxury world. This is kind of like my everyday palette, easy, compact, it's not so big or chunky either. And this one is just perfection. Like I have been going out a couple times this November and I have done a smoky eye look and this is Favorite, favorite. It reminds me to some of my Tone 4 palettes, not in terms of like wet and dry formula or nothing of that, no, but the easy of use. That's how good they are. I have been going still strong with this Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks Powder Blush, her first powder blush because we know, all know that she has cream blushes. This is in the shade Petal. It's more of a cool tone mauve and I'm so impressed because of the amount of pigment. So you don't need a lot, just stop little lightly and then buff and it does have more of like a demi matte finish now pink is punk by valentino this is a limited edition shade on the holiday collection and this is the blush that i have today on you just apply a little because otherwise it could be too much but the formulation from valentino it's so beautiful again very emollient very unique one of the most unique formulations in terms of lashes that there is in the market period and this shade i mean if you're really into those pink vibe you have to get this one concealer wow how slaps this concealer has impressed me so much the only thing i have to tell you i don't like how tight it is the top foot applicator because I feel like I'm gonna go like this and then it's gonna splash all over. So just take your time to take it out. But this is the concealer that I have today on. It will not replace my favorite concealer, but hey, it's making it to the top, top concealers of mine because look 
at the coverage that it gave me. It looks not only beautiful, it doesn't gather on the lines, it lasts a long time, it does have hydration without being thick, but Lady Gaga just poof, blew my mind. Anastasia Beverly Hills, her new highlighter, very, very alike to Amrisi, but with a better formulation. So I have to tell you that Amrisi was an OG, but this is gonna become an OG, because if you try the Amrisi one nowadays, you will see, it's like, why I was in love with it. Yes, the shade is pretty, but it's just like a little bit perhaps too much for nowadays. This new formula, this is what we want. Something that melts on the skin, something that it just blends in, that it doesn't look like a stripe. I feel that it does cater for many skin tones and the formula is just beautiful. If anything, I feel like they could have gone with a less kind of like thick kind of packaging. It looks like a cookie. I must be hungry right now. But anyhow, it is a gorgeous highlighter. Gorgeous highlighter. It blends like a dream. Look at that. I just like blend it. Do you see? You can see my skin see through and that's what we want from highlighters. Now let's talk about liquid highlighters. At the beginning of the month, I was going strong with this Chanel Sublimage Le Concentré Lumière because I was trying it and trying it and trying it. And I really enjoy it, but then it came the Givenchy Prince Livre Skincare Highlighter. And it's the one that I have today. And it is so impactful. I'm very impressed because at the beginning I thought, wow, this is going to be so cool tone. But the way it sheer out, but leaving that kind of look of hydration without being a stark kind of highlighter, it really impressed me. This hair oil obsession complete obsession <laughs> i don't know what it does but it helps to maintain how i have a style my hair and it stay that way without weighting my hair down without making it look greasy at all and whatsoever is so lightweight and the best part of all is that it helps not only maintain but it makes last my hairstyle if i want like i can stretch it for two to three days and my hairstyle will look the same i just start trying the Oribe super shine moisturizing cream not only it smells amazing like every Oribe product but it gives shine with a tiny tiny amount i mean like this is gonna last me at least i will say for two to three months because you just need a tiny amount spread it really well and then just go through your hair damp hair and then style it and you will see the shine on your hair it makes it more manageable too and it doesn't weigh down and the last thing that i want to talk about is my i don't know if it's tineco 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 whatever it is, but it is my map vacuum. I'm a converter, a true believer. You know, my friends, I love my Dyson cordless vacuum, but this one, the Tineco one, it really helps out to maintain throughout the days your hardwood floors because it maps while it vacuums. And I mean, it's pretty disgusting <laughs> to see that water, how it turns black, but you can really tell like on the high traffic areas, right? Like entrance or by the garage door, you know, like how well it cleans and it doesn't leave your floor completely damp. So in return, it dries super fast and it's clean in no time. To me, that vacuum is definitely a game changer. Okay, my friends, and this makes it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I would love to hear from you. Which are those products that you have have been loving during the month of November or which have you discovered or which ones of the ones that I showed today you are also loving or not loving I mean let's just continue that conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads it would be incredible if you can please come and follow me both on my Instagram and TikTok if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time I hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye-bye.